Hello everyone and welcome back to the Mouse Diva channel. I have another bookish video, a Books Inside Boxes subscription box opening for you. Moving pictures. Hello there, moving pictures. <laughs> <laughs> I've been all around the world. Every city, every place. September 2024 box. Uh, normally these boxes get here like the first couple days of the month. Unfortunately she had um, uh, the publisher was behind on sending the books or whatever so it was a little later which was fine with me because um, I was out of town anyway. <laughs> so let's take a look. If you were not familiar with this box it is such an awesome concept. She's This is the 13th month and every box, every month, the box is themed around a state. That state is represented. And so we never know what state it's going to be. And you get a book that takes place in that state. Now, these are not necessarily new books, but the storyline does take place in the state. And then you normally get some type of goodies or something from that state and some bookish items. I really do like this subscription box so let's see what we have this month so right away no no way i know what state this is and i don't even have to look at her wonderful letters that she writes are you kidding me so if you follow along on my family channel life's a whirlwind you know that last september so last year like exactly a year ago we were in Branson, Missouri for the very first time and we went to some type of like, um, it was kind of like, it wasn't an antique mall, but they, you know, they had the different booths. Some of them were antique, some were newer things and Ozark had an entire booth of this stuff and all different amazing flavors. Oh my gosh, caramel butter pecan. Oh, ho, ho, yummy. We got two different flavors. I don't remember what flavors we got, but we loved both of them. And I cannot believe that that is what is included in this box. And this flavor is definitely something I would have put picked out. And who knows, it could have been what we did pick out. I just don't, I don't remember. Because I remember when we ran out going, I need to look them up and see if I can order online or not. So I can tell you that it is Missouri. That is wild. Okay, so, like I said, every month she writes these really nice letters for us. And it'll tell what state, it'll tell a couple facts about the state. Oh, an independent bookstore. An independent bookstore from that state is represented. And the books don't not come from that bookshop, but something will. Some stickers, bookmarks, something. And um, she'll tell you a little facts about the the um, bookstore and then about the item. So I want to skip to what she says about the coffee. So keep cozy with a cup of coffee. Included is an eight ounce bag of caramel butter pecan coffee from Ozark Mountain Coffee Company. This company has been around since 1994 and I can verify that the coffee tastes as good as it smells. To go with the coffee theme, a bookish stick. Oh, okay. So let me go back. Let's start from the beginning. Our September box takes us to the state that was the birthplace of authors T.S. Eliot, I didn't know he was from Missouri, and Mark Twain, of course I did know that. It is home to the tallest man-made mon monument in the state's Gateway Arch. I have been in that arch. I am a huge St. Louis Cardinals fan because my dad grew up in St. Louis and our family vacation every year, 4th of July week, we went to St. Louis. Um, and with the world's, with the most working fountains in the world, Can Kansas City did not know that. This month's box is themed to the 24th state, Missouri. The September Indie Bookstore partner is Skylark Bookshop, located in downtown Columbia. I had the pleasure of visiting Skylark Bookshop on my summer road trip. Included in the September box are Skylark's branded 
pens. So we have a pen. I can always use a pen because I'm always misplacing them. And bookmarks. Oh, that's going to be in the book. Let's and temporary tattoos. Okay. So we have a bookmark. And half coffee, half bookworm. I love bookish stickers. And then a temporary tattoo. Just looks like a decal to me. Oh, it is. Hmm. I think I'm just going to like cut this out and because I am not a tattoo person. I think I'm going to like, I think I actually going to, this is pretty. I might put this in like a little frame. Use it as artwork. Okay. And then we have, she's not talking about this. Hold on. Um, okay. Is there anyone out there who doesn't get emotionally attached to fictional characters? I know that I do. A book-themed canvas pencil case or anything else you can fit inside this bag from Coastal Creators of Connecticut. This husband-wife run small design business is East Lime, Connecticut. Emotionally attached to fictional characters. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, and it is a zipper bag. That's cool. All right, so I guess you guys are ready for the book. And here we go. So, the, uh, let's see. This is a mystery novel. It is set in a small town in the Ozarks, centering around Lucy, a woman haunted by two sinister events that happens decades apart. As the weather turns cooler and we ease into the fall holidays, I thought a mystery would be, would get us in the mood for spooky season. And of course, I mean, September's for like cozy reads and then getting into the mystery. So, what does it say? The town of Henbane sits, and I have no idea if that's a legit town in Missouri or not. Because, you know, sometimes you get real towns and sometimes you get fictional towns. Um, deep in the Ozark Mountains, folks there still whisper about Lacey, I mean Lucy Dane's mother, a bewitching stranger who vanished when Lucy was a child. Now on the brink of adulthood, Lucy experiences another loss when her friend Sherry is found murdered. Haunted by the two lost girls, Lucy sets out to uncover the mystery behind Sherry's death and discovers the dark side of a lamp discovers the dark side of where a person can easily disappear without a trace. In the weight of blood, the author proves herself a masterly storyteller who has created a harsh and tangled terrain as alive and unforgettable as the characters who inhabit it. Now, this book was published in 2014, and I have to... Oh, gosh, I love the smell of... Books. We start with Lucy on chapter one, and then we get to Lila in chapter two, and 32, and maybe this person was introduced earlier, but we have Birdie, so we have, oh, and I saw a Gabby, so each chapter, it looks like it's those four, nope, there's a Carl, <laughs> so this is interesting, so each chapter is centered around a different person. We have Lucy again, we have Lila again, we have Gabby again. All right, Lucy, so I guess it's just those people. Oh, nope, <laughs> chapter 18, we have a Jamie. <laughs> That's cool, okay. So I will go ahead and add, I'm not gonna add this to my September reads because it is the end of September and I haven't even got halfway through my um, original September TBR. If you did not see that, I will try to remember to link it at the end because I show you my, no, my new TBR shelf that I just, it's a rotating shelf. It's really cool, just came in. So I will go ahead, give you a spoiler and I will put this on my October TBR. And until the next page. Yeah.